Oh, because I wanted to make the world a better place and had the uh, conceit to believe uh, that perhaps I could make a contribution. Whether I'm right or not, uh, it's for others to judge. I didn't choose, it happened. Uh, a new parliamentary constituency in Essex was created for 1997. It's centred on Colchester, the town of Colchester. My party is very strong there, the Liberal Democrats. I'm a former mayor of Colchester, former leader of the council. I served 31 years, so I became an accidental MP because a seat was created on my doorstep. I went for it with uh, great enthusiasm, one in 1997 for Liberal Democrats, and uh, three general elections later, I'm still here, and I hope to continue for a fourth term. Most people will at that point say, because we wanted to make the world a better place. And in a sense, that is true. But what happens is that some, some event occurs and you suddenly say, things don't have to be like that. And you may find various means of changing things. And you could become a school governor, you want to be a magistrate, you can engage in the community. And some of us actually think the way to bring about change is to become a legislator. So for me it was being a lawyer and suddenly realising if I wanted to change the law, I'd have to make it. And that's when I wanted to become an MP. I'm passionate about politics and I, I want to make a difference and I suspect that's what most people would say about why they wanted to be an MP. My personal experience was I was working as a marketing manager for a radio station which was good fun on a day-to-day -day basis but I didn't really feel like it made a huge difference to the world if more people listened to Viking FM than Galaxy and I really wanted to do something which meant that I could get up in the morning and pursue my beliefs. Being an MP isn't the only way to do that. Some of the other things I considered would be uh, going to work for a business that had very much the same um, values and ethics to what I have. Uh, but I'd always been interested in politics and uh, was in the right place at the right time when my home seat had boundary changes, making it winnable for the Lib Dems. So I, I bit the bullet and went for it. And I'm absolutely delighted that I did because I feel very lucky to be doing a job that I love. I don't like the self-serving, hierarchical Quango state who run this country and do a pretty good job of running it into the ground. We could be so much better. I think our country is a great country. Um, just shame about the people who run it. I think uh, we need less government and I'm in politics to try to get government off people's backs. Do you know, I ask myself that question all the time. <laughs> Actually, I was always trying to help people. Even when I was a schoolgirl, I used to visit old people whether they wanted to be visited or not. And it's that desire to change the world that made me want to be an MP. And when I was a volunteer at the Royal Free Hospital, I saw that all the volunteering in the world, as magnificent it was in the personal gratitude you got from people, it didn't change the system. And every piece of equipment um, had uh, the name of who had donated it. And the nurses never had time, and it's the caring side of nurses that I campaign for. So in the end, the only way to really change things is to get into the political system, and I love fighting. Oh, long story, but I want to keep this very short. Um, I was devoted to the Labour Party. I had a strong urge to be at the centre of power because basically this place, for all its faults, still wields the power. And it wields the power over the people in my constituency. So if you want to change things, you have to be where the power is. <laughs> I don't know whether I can remember that. I, I, I suppose it's um, that I had the Victorian idea of improvement, that I, I, I thought that um, by being here and, and uh, being able to speak out on things, I can make things better. Not that I can make them perfect or that um, you know, everything would be marvellous, but I could make a difference. And um, uh, that, that really is what the job's about.